Good evening. Oh, we'll try that again normal. Good evening. Hello and welcome back. I'm Taylor, your casual crib keeper, and welcome to Top 5 Scary. Now, if you're a fan of spine tingling stories and mysterious encounters, you're in for a treat. I assume you're a fan of those things. You're on a scary channel right now. Today, we are counting down the top five unexplained skin walker sightings that'll make you question everything you thought you knew about reality. From encounters in the wilderness to unexplainable sightings, these stories will have you on the edge of your seat. So sit back, turn off the lights, and get ready to be spooked. Have you ever had a strange encounter out in the woods that you think was with a creature not of this world? Share your story down below. We might even use them in a future video. Now let's get into it. Our first sighting today is a short clip that's been being passed around the paranormal corners of the internet, and for good reason. Could very well have a recording of one of these wretched creatures caught on tape. Let me roll just a little bit of it for you and see if you can decide for yourself just what's going on down there. It's hard to say exactly what's happening here without proper context. Unfortunately, the original person who posted it didn't add a lot. We can see a bunch of animals running through the forest migrating, or perhaps they're running to try and escape something. Namely, the very strange entity running behind them. We can see someone or something running swiftly, looking human-esque, but it feels more like something's doing an impression of a human, something that's wearing a human skin, if you catch my drift. Doesn't quite move how a man should. Its arms appear unnaturally long and out of proportion. It seems like a feral creature living amongst the animals in disguise. Now, not everyone agrees with what this creature could be. Some commenters have suggested that this could be a sighting of a rake, which is also sometimes called a crawler, a similarly reported cryptid. It's a long, skinny, humanoid looking thing, usually with like pale or gray skin that lives out in the woods. Now there are a bunch of differences between these creatures. For one thing, a rake is not a shapeshifter of any kind, whereas one of these is said to be able to take the appearance of any creature it wishes. It should also be noted that when we talk about skin walkers, traditionally they're not actually cryptids or monsters, but rather a human who's capable of witchcraft. It's hard to keep all your scary humanoid cryptids straight in a line, but that's why you got top five scary to help out where you can. And if you're looking for way more scary stories of cryptids, well, my friend, you are already in the right place. If cryptids aren't your jam, we've got a video on just about every single freaky thing you can think of under the sun and above it. We got conspiracies, we got aliens, we got monsters, monster movies, you name it. Hit subscribe, hit that little bell so you don't miss a single scream, but you do that at the end of this video, okay? I got way more creature sightings coming for you right now. Number four, another video sighting for you coming up. Well, of sorts, you'll see. This next one was uploaded to the internet about a month ago to Reddit titled, Navajo depiction of a skinwalker on video looking to plant a curse. Hey, you might wanna check that your computer's got good antivirus software just in case some of that curse sort of leaks through the internet. That does happen sometimes. So keep that in mind as we roll this next clip. Maybe draw a little salt circle around where you're sitting just in case smudge your house with sage. I would advise. Now this footage comes from a documentary, so it's not exactly the most real depiction of one of these creatures, but it's fun to watch. It's a documentary on the beast of native folklore and showcases a depiction or a dramatization of what a live sighting face to face with one could look like. It's pretty horrifying to see such a realistic depiction. I think you imagine these creatures and it's pretty scary, but then you see it like in a tableau like this and you realize just how scary it is. We see a bunch of livestock running in a flock and a shadow darting between them as if your eyes are playing tricks on you. Is this just another shadow of the night? Is this an animal? Just your eyes? We then see the homeowner readying himself to defend against the particular attack. Now something unnerving about the legend of these creatures is just how little there is said to be done against them. Some stories say that the way to fell one of these entities is by learning its name and shouting it against it. Now some others say that traditional weapons have next to no use against one. Maybe you'll slow it down just a little bit, but that you need rituals and otherworldly magic to be able to actually stand a chance. And of course there are some nihilistic stories that say once the creature has set its sights on you, well, it's kind of hopeless and there's not really anything you can do until your judgment comes. So the best advice for me, I would say, is to just never run into one at all and if you even start to think you hear one, just book it out of Dodge. Number three, Moto Owens. Moto Owens is a popular YouTuber and influencer known for BMX and motorcycling videos. Owens a motorcycle enthusiast and so his channel primarily focuses on motorcycle content, reviews of new bikes, advice for riders, general discussion about the wild world of motorcycling. But that's not all, he's also got videos about his personal experiences and his travels on two wheels, including almost coming dangerously close to death while in the woods while filming a video. You take a quick look at this clip posted to his Instagram and you tell me what you think you hear 
or C. Probably something scary. While cycling, Owen comes across some bizarre sounds in the woods that he believes sounds like someone screaming out for help. It's hard to say that's not exactly what it sounds like, because it does sound like someone shrieking, but that could be something mimicking human calls. Now, more than a few people in the comments suggested this could be a mountain lion, because allegedly mountain lion calls sound like a shrieking woman. That's something hikers should be aware of. I've never heard that before. <laughs> now, I've got to say, Owen is a pretty wise guy, because as soon as he starts hearing mysterious screaming in the wild that he can't explain, instead of poking around the woods and trying to figure out what's happening, he rather intelligently chooses to get on his bike, rev up, and gets the heck out of there before he could get a chance to be introduced to whatever cryptid could have been lying out there. So what do you think, gang? Was that just a bobcat or a mountain lion out in the woods, or did he come very, very close to something he would not have wanted to see? Number two, the proof is out there. Our next sighting comes to us today from the History Channel of all places. I guess in a way, it could be considered modern day history, right? It details a sighting by two Canadian security guards in 2021 of a possible sighting with this creature up close and personal. You see, it was May 2021 in Saskatchewan, and two security guards working on a Cree reservation were driving home after a 12-hour shift when they spotted something bizarre on the drive home. They recorded it, and we've got a bit of footage for you here to play. We'll roll it now and let us know what you think you can see down below. It's very difficult to make out entirely, but if you're really looking, and the video does outline it a bit, which helps, you can see a translucent, ghostly figure appearing in the clearing while they're driving. This figure seems formless, almost ethereal in a way, as if it's not even a solid creature. It blends in with the grass so well, it almost seems as if it's part of the scenery or wildlife that's straight up just come to life and sprouted out of the ground. Now, when this clip was posted, commenters were going wild because they thought this could be definitive proof of one of these shape-shifting evil medicine men caught on tape. Now, invisibility, or, you know, being see-through, isn't usually described as being an ability of one of these creatures. I think people might be getting them confused with the Predator from the awesome action movie series. An important distinction to note when we talk about these things is that they're not cryptids per se. You know? And shouldn't be talked about as such or considered like they're a creature or, or a wild animal, contrary to how it might seem, but rather the legend of these things is that they're shamans and medicine men who have isolated themselves from the rest of the tribe and way of life and are engaging in dark, unholy practices. Now, that's not to say that invisibility is totally impossible. It could be within the realm of these things. I think if you're shape-shifting, theoretically, you could also be turning invisible. But I'm just saying they have enough tricks up their sleeve already. Shape-shifting feels like enough of a cool party trick. You don't need to also add being invisible on that. Your resume is full enough. You got the job. Number one, the Washington sighting. Now, our next sighting comes to us from Reddit posted to the Skinwalker subreddit. It's a first-hand account of a Washington, local, a Washington local describing what they thought they saw on a camping trip with their partner. The poster describes going camping with her boyfriend, the two of them having a significant camping experience. They both grew up in a rural area surrounded by farmland, so they're no stranger to the outdoor. And they decided for a fun, romantic weekend camping trip to go camping about 45 minutes away from Yakima around indigenous territory. Territory. They pull up to the lake at about 10.45 and immediately on rolling up, the poster said she got a terrible feeling, like deep in her stomach. She said it wasn't just like kind of a bad feeling about things, but a profoundly bad vibe, saying as if it felt like there was evil radiating deeply throughout her. I personally would turn the car around if that happened to me, but hey, power to you. She realizes as she's looking around the campsite, the reason she feels so strongly about this place is because she's had a dream about it before. It's not just deja vu or something, but something she had seen in her mind's eyes. She tells her boyfriend that she's dreamt this place, everything about it, every little detail, and goes into detail, talking about seeing a pale, creepy face with reflective eyes staring at her through the trees and then running as fast as she could. Pretty scary dream. So they pull up to the campsite eventually. Her boyfriend lights a smoke and they sit around the campfire and soon after start to hear screaming. But she says it doesn't sound like human screaming the way you expect it to. It sounds like someone had distorted and spliced together screams from multiple sources into one, harmonizing perfectly. Now moments later, this scream appears again, only this time the scream feels even closer. 
Her boyfriend puts his smoke out and grabs a weapon from their truck and they wait in the tent for the rest of the night. When they wake up that next morning and check on their site, the cigar had been taken. Now in some legends, when you hear these creatures far away, when you hear the voice screaming, it means they're closer than you think. So what do you think? Did these two get lucky? Was it just paranoia in the woods setting in? Or did they narrowly avoid being the main characters in the next Blair Witch movie? And that's about all she wrote for this video, my ghouls and my goblins. Thanks so much for watching. Creep on, creeping on. And I'll see you in the next one after I get back from my camping trip. I'm looking forward to it.